What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. My name is Lloyd, and uh, we are gonna talk about a question that I have. He writes, Hey Lloyd, I've been texting this girl for a couple months now, and she seems really interested in me. Always responding and sending me tons of emojis. But whenever I try to meet up with her, she is busy. I don't think she is lying because she has a job that takes up a lot of her time, and I see it through her social media complaining about it. What should I do? Okay, so whenever somebody says, what should I do? I always respond with like, what do you want to do? Okay, and that's gonna be the theme of this, this whole thing. So let's answer the question when she says she's always busy, you know, how should you handle this situation, okay? And my answer to you is that if she's always busy, you have to ask yourself if you're down for this kind of life with her. I'll tell you a little story. A long time ago when I first started going out, like when I was 23, I think I was 23, I started, I met this girl at a Halloween party. Very, very sexy girl. And we hit it off. We hit it off. I was excited to meet up with her. She was excited to meet up with me. Okay, we, tr we made plans. And then at the last minute she was like, hey, listen, I'm really sorry. I have to study for these midterms. I can't make it, you know? I'm like, no worries, cool, let's go out another time. So then we text back and forth, I think we even talked on the phone, um, and she was like, uh, you know, well, I basically said, hey, let's meet up, you know, the next week, okay? So we're about to meet up, and two days before, she's like, hey, listen, I'm sorry, medical school is really killing me. If I don't spend time and study for these uh, exams, I'm not going to pass, and I need to get my degree, like, this is my life. I'm like, dude, that's, that's, that's totally okay. Okay, now at this point, I should have called it quits. <laughs> All right, uh, but I didn't know any better at that time. Then uh, a third time, we finally went out. Okay, and she was like, listen, um, w during the date, she's like, hey, listen, um, I'm really sorry to do this to you, but I can only hang out for an hour and a half. And then we had it, we, like, I thought she was like, oh, an hour and a half, cool, I can push that out to like two hours, we can have a good time. And anyway, we talked, we had, a, we had a great time for that hour and a half, but then right on the dot, she was like, I really gotta go, I'm so sorry. And I could see in her eyes that, you know, she was really sorry, she really did like me. Um, and then she left. And then after that, I was like, you know, I've spent all this time trying to go out with this girl to get an hour and a half long date that let's be real, she's not gonna graduate from medical school for another year and a half. Then after that, she's gonna become a doctor. And you know, when is this going to end? The answer, probably never, okay? Our lifestyles didn't mix up. Now let's fast forward to six years later. No, not six years later, four years later. Four years later, I'm at a jujitsu competition. I see this girl there. She's in the stands, I wave to her, she comes up and talks to me. She's like, hey, oh my God, it's so great to see you, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'd actually just won my, won my match, so I was pretty excited too. So uh, I gave her a high five and a hug. I'm like, yeah, it's great to see you as well. And then she pulls up and her boyfriend's there. And I'm like, hey, this is my boyfriend. And I'm like, oh, hey, awesome, man, it's great to meet you. Um, and then she, he, goes, he goes, yeah, we're actually gonna get married. And, you know, I met him through, I asked him, okay, cool, that's awesome. How did you guys meet? And she says, oh, I met him in medical school. You know, she met him like, I don't know, a year after me or something like that. That was the only guy that was gonna work for her. She was too busy for me. It did not matter how interested she was in me. Just because the girl likes you, just because she responds and sends emojis or whatever, is not a reason for you to get with her. Again, and I've said this before, you really gotta spend your time wisely. Your time is valuable. And if a girl has canceled on you twice, if a girl has made it very difficult for you to meet up with her, I don't care how much she likes you. You have to value your time better. You have to put your energy towards somebody who is going to meet up with you. Chances are, if it's really hard for you to meet up with her now, it's gonna be really hard to meet up with her in the future. And if you're down for that, and you're down to wait, and you're down to play that game, then, you know, then go, go ahead and do it. But I know for me in my life, the way I conduct myself, it's, I'll try to, if I really like a girl, I will try and meet up with her twice. You know, I'm getting lazier and lazier as time goes on, but I'll, I'll try and meet up with her twice. If she can't do any of those, or it's difficult, then I'll move on to somebody who, who will. So having options with this helps, but really having self-respect is the biggest thing. You know, you want to go after people that are going to give you the time of day. And you've been talking to this girl for two months. You know, ask yourself, if is this worth it? Is it worth two months of my time and energy and mental effort that I could be spending on somebody else who's not going to be giving me these problems? Is it worth it? 
And if the answer is yes, then yeah, dude, continue texting her and try and find a time that she's free. You know, there's some certain things that you can do. But in my opinion, if she's always busy, whether or not she likes you, and by the way, that's the key, because women will lie about this. They will say they're busy when they're not interested. They just, maybe they want the attention. Maybe they want, uh, they just want to be texting a guy. They don't want to be rude. I don't know what the reason is. The reason is irrelevant. What matters is what you want. So ask yourself that question. And I guarantee you, if you have any sort of uh, confidence or belief in yourself, you know that you can find a girl who's going to be more available for you. Okay. Something, time is, time is the most valuable resource a man can give. Yeah, really that anybody can give. And you, you should spend it with the people that are going to give that back to you. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. This is something that I work on with my clients all the time. But if you got a lot out of it in this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and good luck out there.